Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here on this Tuesday on Up With Crim. I'm Channing Curtis. And I'm Tim Pham. Well, today's big story is all the weather. We saw snow and rain overnight, and now we're dealing with the wind. Meteorologist Thomas Patrick is joining us right now. And Thomas, we know really the whole region got hit pretty hard, especially in North Idaho. We just learned Kootenai County Schools closed today. Yeah, and we're still getting some storm reports in, but we know that North Idaho, especially around Sandpoint and Northward, have gotten the most snow by far for the inland northwest. But an absolutely fascinating past six hours here as you were sleeping, snow overnight changing to rain in many locations, especially in Spokane County, as the precipitation really erupted in activity after about 1 a.m at about the same time started raining in Spokane and Spokane Valley since 4 a.m. It has been all rain from Airway Heights through the downtown core and you can follow that along I-90 through Post Falls but not Coeur d'Alene. In fact, the temperature difference is that it's 38 in Spokane and 33 in Coeur d'Alene. So still snowing there, a very wet and slushy scene. So obviously the snow continues for Coeur d'Alene, but 39 now in Spokane. So even more in the rain category at the moment, but we are tracking that rain snow split and the stronger winds that are just beginning for this Tuesday. Well, because of all of this weather we're having right now this morning, our Nicole Hernandez is joining us from the Crim 2 Storm Trackers. So, Nicole, can you tell us where you're heading this morning and how are the roads where you are? Yeah, absolutely, Channing. So right now we are on I-90 heading towards the Coeur d'Alene area, hoping to find some of that snow that Thomas was just talking about over in Coeur d'Alene. Take a look, go. Well, like Thomas mentioned, a lot of this rain here along I-90 right now, it is currently raining and it's causing the roads to be nice and wet. Now, I don't know about you, but I woke up this morning and I said, uh, oh, look, there's no snow. That's weird. I'll be fine driving. Then I got on the roads and then it was pretty wet. It was slick still. There was uh, a lot of slush and kind of yucky happening around spots that, you know, people weren't really driving. Coming down the hill, Heading to I-90, we could really see a ton of water just pouring down the sides of the roads there because not only are we getting rain, but we also saw that snow and now it's melting. So a lot of water just kind of running off on the roads, building up on the roads, causing slush on side roads. So definitely something to be careful of as you head out the door this morning. Like I mentioned, we are on our way over to Coeur d'Alene. So as soon as we get there, we'll let you know how much snow they're seeing over there still. But for now, even though it looks like things aren't as bad as we maybe thought. We still did get that snow and it is still causing some yuckiness on the roads. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Prep 2 News. All right, thank you, Nicole. We'll be checking back in with her throughout the show this morning. But in the meantime, we do have a few school closings and delays to report. Canceled this morning include Forest Bird Charter School in Sandpoint, Lakeland School District, Boundary County School District, and Lake Ponderé School District. All of those are closed. Also closed this morning, like Tim mentioned at the beginning of the show, Kootenai School District, also Northport School District, also closed. Now, there are also several schools that are on a two-hour delay this morning. They include Grand Coulee Dam School District, Nespelum School, Wellpinit School District, and the Riverside School District as well. Well, thousands of people are without power this morning across our region. Take a look at this Avista outage map. Avista says just over a thousand customers are without power right now, and most of those outages are in Benoit County. Right now, Inland Power is reporting more than 1,000 people without power. Those outages are mainly in Spokane, Stevens, and Bonner counties. Meanwhile, Northern Electric is reporting just nearly 2,000 people without power. Almost all of those outages are in Bonner County. And Kootenai Electric is reporting a little more than 100 customers are without power this morning. Right now, there is no estimate for when all these outages will be restored. Well, crews across Spokane County have already pre-treated hundreds of lane miles with de-icer. It's all in an effort to prevent slick driving conditions. Kirsten, Kristen Davis with the City of Spokane says it's important to pre-treat the roads to make things safer for everyone. So making sure that you're hitting that pavement um, when before the snow falls. So what happens is, is that it's working on the, the snow from below. And then if you're going over it afterwards with the um, granular de-icer on top, you're kind of hitting it from both directions. Davis also says the city will first start plowing main arterials and city streets, but will eventually get to everyone. 
Well, this morning, Washout is reminding all drivers to be careful when driving near snow plows. If you see a plow on the roads, remember to give them plenty of room. You should also avoid passing them or tailgating them and watch out for that cloud of snow or water spray that plows create because it really can block your own sight of the roads.